Hey guys, today I am so excited to be jumping right back into Coffee Date Thursday. Um, I will link a past Coffee Date Thursday video I did right down below. It is a group of YouTube moms, YouTube ladies, that get together and we share some coffee and some ideas on YouTube. So it's like you're sitting with a friend and having a coffee date. So today I have my Snoopy mug. I got this for Christmas from my husband's cousin Maggie and her family. I love her, I love their family so much, and I love my new mug. And I've got some, I'm actually cheating a little because it's a little bit later in the day and I've already had my coffee so I've got some hot cocoa in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So for today's Coffee Date Thursday, we're going to be talking about New Year's resolutions. And I've got my Happy Planner with me, and I wrote down some resolutions that I want to keep for this year. So let's get right into it. So for the first thing I'm going to talk about is kind of like YouTube and blog related resolutions. I I am so happy with how much my YouTube channel has grown. It's amazing how much it's grown and to keep with that one of my goals is to just continue to grow my channel. I'd like to hit 1,000 at some point during 2016 and just 1,000 subscribers at some point during 2016 and just keep it going and keep moving along. I want to just keep sharing and keep making building these relationships with these subscribers and other YouTubers and everyone around me. I'm just loving it. Along that line, I've also like to get I'd also like to get on a schedule for my YouTube videos. I haven't been on a set schedule yet for YouTube um, and every time I try to think one up, it doesn't really work out for me because I am a full-time mom. I'm a full-time student. I'm I coordinate volunteers in the school, I'm a PTO member, I just, I do so much at home, out of the home with my church and with my school. It's kind of hard for me to set a schedule, but this year, like one of my main goals all around is to just continue to work on my time management. I feel like in 2015, I did a great job managing my time. I was just sick so much, so I want to just come out of that and learn to manage my time better and set a schedule for YouTube. So be on the lookout for a channel update, I guess, and I will talk about what my schedule will be. I have a little bit of an idea. I definitely want to try to keep up with the Coffee Date Thursdays every Thursday if I can, at least, if not, at least two times a month. And then there's just some other fun things I have in mind, and I'm thinking I might have a video five days a week if my schedule works out. So just stay tuned for a channel update based on that. The other thing I want to do that pertains to YouTube and social media is I want to use my blog more. I've only written one blog post and it was when I did the Coquito, the um, Puerto Rican eggnog video. I made a blog post to coordinate with that. I want to do more coordinating posts and I want to use my blog more for maybe even for days where I'm not vlogging but I want to like just share something um, to get my emotions out. More of an outlet using, using writing as well as the videos because that's what YouTube is for me. It is a hobby, it is an outlet, it is a passion and a love that has grown over the years. The next um, goal that I have for 2016 is to show more of me on YouTube and in my blog. I want to share myself more. I feel like I am very, um, I'm very real with you guys and I show a lot of my life, a lot of things that sometimes I don't think I would have ever shown anybody like messy rooms and things along that, along those lines. But I want to share more of me. I want you guys to know me more and um, I feel like as a YouTuber you get into this like routine of just sharing what other people are sharing and following a trend. And sometimes you get lost in that. And I don't want to be lost in this world of so many different YouTubers. So I want to share more of me. I want you guys to know me more because that is part of 
or it's that's the main part of my channel it's K squared mom it's me as a mom as a wife as a student as a person and I really want you guys to know me more and I guess one of the bigger goals I have for 2016 regarding YouTube is to finally get my kids started on their K squared kids channel they do have a channel set up already it has some really old videos on it that my husband I'm pretty sure recorded with a very old cell phone um, he actually recorded and posted those videos a long long time ago and the kids have been begging me like literally begging me to just start their channel so I really want to work on getting them some channel art and getting some footage put together and working out a schedule where I can edit their footage and post it for them so that they can have their channel that they so wanted I will link their channel down below like I said it has just really old videos on it but um, hoping that 2016 um, they've been asking me since like 2014 if they can do this so I'm hoping that 2016 is the year so now moving on to my fitness and health goals I feel like every year I make these big goals like I'm going to finally lose a hundred pounds I'm going to finally start running I'm going to finally start doing all these things and what has happened over the past years is that my health has taken a nosedive and it has been horrible I um, was diagnosed with hypothyroidism and I've been dealing with a compromised immune system basically all of 2015 I was sick um, from strep throat to Bell's palsy to bronchitis to sinus infections to uh, stomach viruses anything you can think of I had it I strained or sprained my wrist at one point I've hurt my hips I have been a complete health mess and this year I am going to get to the bottom of it I am going to see however many doctors and specialists I have to see to just figure out what I can do to boost my immune system and to boost my health and um, and if the medication's not working, I'm going to speak up and I'm gonna get it changed because it is time that I take charge of my health and um, just do what needs to be done to get me healthy. And along, along those same goals, you know, you talk about fitness goals and I have fitness goals, obviously. I wanna feel comfortable in my skin. I wanna look better, feel better, but um, those are gonna take it back burner to just getting healthy and I feel like once I start to get healthy the fitness things will just start to fall into place my main fitness goal is to start riding my bike um, my husband got me a bike for Christmas I'm super excited I've wanted a bike for years and I'm so glad that I have one now so I'd like to start riding my bike daily along with taking Melody for her walks I feel like that's a good amount of activity for someone and um, I feel like maybe if I can get those endorphins pumping, I can get my health back on track because I've been in a low, depressed spot for a while because of how bad my health has been. And then the last category that I have like specific goals for is parenting. I feel like as a parent, um, you fall into this hole where you're just doing things and at least for me, I sometimes when I do things, I'm like, that's not how I want to handle it, but it just happens that way, I guess, out of habit or out of what we were raised with. And I just want to make a few changes. So with parenting, I'm very present parent, but I want to be more present and not in the sense of I'm there because I go to the kids' school, I do all the field trips, all the assemblies, all I, I'm volunteering nonstop, and I'm with them all the time, but I want to be more present in mind. I want to put the phone down more and pay more attention to them, and I've made an effort to just listen to them when they speak and just not kind of brush it off and make, take every word they say as important, and I want to make a bigger effort to do that. I want to be more present in spirit and mind than, you know, I'm already physically present. I want to be more present in other ways. 
I also um, need to work on my patience. I feel like I'm a patient person when it comes to basically anything but my kids. And I know it's not, It's. Uh, I know some of it is just in my mind, but I want to be more patient with them. Um, I've, I feel like I am patient, but it, I need some work. And I think I've lost a lot of my patience with my health issues, with the depression and the anxiety, but um, I wanna get back to being very patient with my children. And that's a big goal of mine this year. And the last goal is a goal that's a running goal for me that I write down every year. I wanna be intentional with my kids. I want to be intentional with what I say and what I do and how I parent. And this also goes with being a wife. I wanna be intentional in being a wife and being a mom. Um, my husband and I have a great relationship. We've come a long way from when we were younger and I just wanna continue that and I wanna be more intentional with him and more intentional with my children and be more present and be more patient. And so those are goals that are not just as a mom, they're also as a wife and as a person altogether. And so those are my resolutions for 2016. I'm trying my hardest to just be this person that I want to be and I feel like this year is a year to make strides toward that. Towards that. And um, top of the line is always health. Um, my family, my kids, my health and YouTube has become a passion for me so I'm excited to work on that and I'm super excited to get back into these coffee date Thursdays so uh, with that I want to thank you guys so much for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this video comment down below and let me know what your goals are for this year I'd love to hear them don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already I'd love to have you here and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys